for your time. Uh, a draw for the team today. How do you assess the performance? Um, it's a bit of a difficult one, really. I thought um, we was on top for majority of the game. Um, it's just frustrating. We just didn't take our opportunities um, in the first twenty minutes. I thought we was was really on top. Um, it was just about forcing that last pass. Um, but we have got a couple of weeks now until until the season starts over at Widnes. So. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be a more, bit more crisper with our, with our finishes there. Mm-hmm. You mentioned that first 20 minutes we were on top, but what do you feel it was that was just lacking in terms of extending that lead? Um, I thought our energy and enthusiasm was there. It was just it was just probably that final pass, just was looking to score on every single play, whereas uh, we probably needed to build a little bit of pressure, spend a bit more time down there, make them do a couple of back-to-backs, and then uh, I think it, it would have told, really. Mm-hmm. Good character though by the team to rescue, you know, draw at the end. Yeah, um, I think it showed great, great desire, um, and that's that's one of the um, core values we looked at for for this year. Uh, working hard for that block next year, um, and again, I think we just found that last gear probably for the last five or ten minutes um, when we was on top and we managed to make it pay really. Um, but like I said, a little bit frustrating because I thought we was on top for the majority of the game. <laughs> How do you feel you've settled into the club since you've um, been? It's really good. Um, the club have been really welcoming uh, for me personally. Um, having the guidance of Muzzer, I know he's not back fit yet, but um, it'll, be, it'll be great to play alongside him. Um, and then we've got Jono coming back as well. So there's a lot of competition for places, which, which will only make us, make us all get better. Um, again, Woody, Woody's playing at half, and we've got Adam Brook, so uh, we're not short of competition really. So we've got to try and be. Um, on point pretty much every session and try and get better. Mm. And you've played in the last couple of pre-season games, how have you found those experiences? Um, well, last week was my first game for probably about five or six, mi- uh, five or six months, right. um, so just getting the minutes under my belt was, was good, obviously I didn't play a full game but uh, it was quite steady performance, just uh, probably dipped my toe in the water a bit when I, when I should have gone a bit, a bit harder really, um, but again happy to get full 80 under my belt, under my belt today. Um, but again, just need to kick on here, um, and like I said, just just work on that execution now. Really, mm. how, obviously you played in the championship before. How, how do you see Halifax in terms of the previous sides you've you've been? Um, no, it's really good. There's a there's a really good buzz around around the club. We've we've set our targets and goals for for the end of the season. And there's uh, there's free free trophies up for grabs now. I mean, we did have four in our in our goals, but now that now there's three, so. Um, we're still going to try our hardest in, in every single game and uh, go right till, right till the end really so uh, I think it'll be a successful year so um, we just need to build on week on week uh, and I'm sure we'll be, we'll be there come the end of the season Cheers, How much difference because it seemed to me today when you took when as it was, ro- as, as it was rotating the team yeah. how, how much easier does it make in your life when you've got Fleming, Kay, Fairbank you know, and, uh, you, you must be looking forward to playing behind the full forward pack you haven't really done that yet, have you? No, no. Um, obviously, there's, there's still a couple of boys to come back. I know Gret, uh, Shane Gray is to come back as well. So uh, we've got a really big uh, and tough middle uh, that I think will roll a couple of teams this year. Uh, and it'll be good to, like I said, play on the back of that. A lot of, a lot of quick play of the balls. Um, but again, the young lads that have stepped in, uh, like Cali, um, have really stood up as well. So uh, I think we're, we're at a good place at the moment, minute. And we're having a big squad. Um, there's a lot of competition for places, so we, we can't really have that lapse of concentration because um, you probably won't be in, in the squad the, the coming week. That was your first game with Q today. I was, I was, yeah, I was, Q, Q's a real big big so influence. Yeah, that, yeah, he um, it talks a lot at the back, uh, whether he's coming tight or, or, or going long, so um, he's, he's, he's non stop. Um, again, we, we, we touch each other up on in terms of um, telling each other what we did right, what we did wrong. So. Um, so again, it's just about working on them combinations, uh, and I'm sure we'll get joy with it. So, you put, so how, how easy is it going to be? Say if you're playing the witness and Q's playing, how easy is it going to be to put Scott in there? When you because you want you know I've trained with him a bit, you 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 want to play with him now. What what riding on his experience there? I guess. What do you mean in terms of? Just in terms of how you're going to manage that. How you how you're going to manage that? How easy is it going to be for you to play with a whole new? Um, like I said, it'll be a good experience. Muzzer's got a lot of exp- a wealth of experience in terms of he's been around the game uh, a very long time. So um, what he lacks for for pace and stuff is is uh, is quite game smart. So um, again, like I said, it's just getting ourselves in the right position. Um, and again, he's he's a big influencer in terms of talking and pushing us around the field. So um, hopefully, I'll be able to dip into a bit of that knowledge and. Uh, 
and use it for myself really. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks, Spot on. Thank you.